Today I'm going to show you guys how to install your DangerWorks custom threaded barrel. The first thing you want to do, as with disassembling any gun, is to remove the magazine. Then, with your flathead screwdriver, you want to remove this little tiny screw in the front above the barrel. And don't lose this, it's very small. Then, the next step is to push this little button on the back right underneath the charging handle. This is attached to your recoil spring. You want to push it all the way in and if you can manage you want to try and push it down so that when you remove the upper receiver the spring, uh, your spring guide rod won't fly out and hit you in the face. Then, remove your spring and spring guide. You're going to want to open your stock. <clears throat> and then, you have this locking clamp that's on the front. With a little spring inside of it. To continue with this assembly, you need to push this in and be careful of this spring because it will fly out if you're not careful. So I like to push it in with my finger over top of it and then hold it there and get a pair of pliers or whatever. If You may not need pliers, but I usually need pliers for mine. And pull this little plug out. This is a solid steel bar with uh, some grooves in the side and it's flat on the face so that you know that the flat part goes forward. Now, to get your bolt and your barrel assembly out, you want to use two fingers because these clamps are on both sides. You pull these downwards, push your bolt assembly forward, and then everything should lift out straight up. And there's your complete bolt assembly with your outer barrel, your inner barrel, and this is your uh, loading ramp and bolt lock. These two pieces pull apart easily, and then this also pulls out of the outer barrel. And now this is the part that we want to focus on. Once you have your barrel assembly separate from the rest of the parts, it should look like this. The next thing you're going to want to do to continue disassembly is to knock out the pins that you'll see here above the barrel, or actually this is the bottom of the barrel, I'm holding it upside down. So here underneath the barrel and here on top of the barrel. These are very small pins and uh, you can use anything that you can find that'll fit. Um, I like to use a, uh, a really small hex key. I have this, that's what this is right here. It's a hex key that I've uh, snapped so I can use it to punch these pins through. And it comes in handy quite a lot because I have a lot of KWA guns and they put almost everything together with pins rather than screws. And it can get annoying after a while. So to bang these through, you're going to want to put them on something so that the pin has somewhere to go after you hit it through. I'm just going to use the crack in this picnic table. I'll put my hex key over that. After you've gotten your pins out this far, you don't really need to pull them out all the way. Your barrel will probably be able to move by now, and you can just pull it out, like so. So now you have the two pieces, and just set this aside and uh, get ready to put in your new threaded barrel. To put the threaded barrel in, it's just the same thing as the original barrel. It has 
two grooves on it. You have one on the top and you have one on the bottom. And it's made so that it just slides right in to this housing right here. Make sure that you have your grooves lined up on the top and bottom. And when you do, you can turn it over and just hammer your pins back in. And that's it. So that's how you put in your threaded barrel on your MP9. Just make sure that your pins are hammered in flush and then you can reassemble the gun and you'll be ready to shoot. To reassemble the gun, just follow all the steps of disassembly in reverse order. So, you take your new barrel assembly, and you want to put your plastic inner barrels inside of it. Make sure that this circular indent is on the top, because that's where your plug goes later to hold it in place. Then. You take your bolt and slide this all into the bolt and then you take your loading ramp assembly and bolt catch and you have a little dovetail right here that fits right into this groove on the catch. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. So this groove right here catches on the bottom of your uh, inner barrel assembly. So this slides on right here. And setting it all back in the gun gets a little bit of tr gets a little bit tricky because this will want to come off because it wants to slide back a little bit and you only have so much space that you'll be able to get it on. So you pre-assemble all these pieces together. I'll set those aside. And then, you want to get your lower receiver and set all these pieces back inside. These two bars on your lower receiver go into the grooves on the side of your uh, barrel assembly.